Hi, I am Mike of MRMIT Solutions. I will introduce the website that we are using for many years. We will open W3SCHOOLS.com. This website is advantageous for people that are starting to learn coding and programming. Most of programming languages are provided here in this website. Here you can learn HTML. There are also HTML references. On the left side tabs are HTML and CSS. Learn all basics on this. Please do watch my other video, discussing what is HTML and what is CSS. I will provide a link below. Also you can learn basics on JavaScript, learn jQuery, React, AngularJs, JSON and many more. This is where you can animate and move different elements and attributes on your web page. Here is also an example of what an HTML code is. There is the basic components of the HTML code like HTML, title, body, and HTML tags such as header and paragraph. Browsing more on the W3SCHOOLS.com website. Here you can see example code of CSS for backend and server side of your web pages. Here you can learn also SQL, PHP, ASP, and more. For other programming languages you can also learn here Python, Java, C++, C Sharp, and many popular programming languages now. They also have web buildings such as templates, statistics, certificates, editor, and many more. Here are other programming languages as I stated a while ago which are Python, PHP, jQuery, and Java. They also have exercises to test your knowledge and learnings on the specific programming languages. You can learn HTML, learn CSS, Bootstrap, W3.CSS, and colors on your web pages. You can also browse given web page templates they have. There are a lot more on this website, in which I can guarantee for those aspiring computer students and others whom wanted to learn more about the basics on coding and program web platforms and other programming languages. There is a lot more on this website because you can learn easier and have a lot of references, examples, and exercises to refresh your learnings. Open any of your web browser. For me I am opening Google Chrome. After that open website google.com. Search noted pad plus plus on the web and download it. Click the top website and official website of notepad plus plus program. This text and source code editor is for free as which can be installed on windows platform. I highly recommend this editor program due to its great functionality and friendly user interface. Download the latest release version of Notepad++. For me, I will be downloading Notepad++ version 7.8.5 release. Find the download link to finally download this program and ready to install on your computer. I will be using 64BIT installer as I am having 64BIT Windows operating system. For 32BIT operating system use the 32BIT installer of Notepad++. After downloading install the program on your computer and system. Open Notepad++. Let's start with the basic components of an HTML web page. Always put greater than and less than symbols on every tags. We will input HTML, head, title, and body of the web page. After that, we will save the codes we put in on the Notepad++ editor on desktop. We will name this as my first website.html. We'll try to open the HTML web page we have just created. No contents are displayed yet on the web page as there is no HTML tags on the HTML body are present on the code created. The title of the web page is the default name of the page as I have not set yet the title of the page. 
we will set the web page title as hello world with three exclamation points. Let us save it and try to check if there are changes on the web page title. Now after opening the page my first website.html page title has been changed to hello world, if there is still no changes. Try to refresh the page or click F5 on your keyboard. And if still has no changes on the web page try to clear cache of your internet browser and try to open the web page again. Now we'll try the paragraph tag. Paragraph tag is where a block level element and always starts on a new line. This is where browsers add margin automatically and can modify the margins using CSS. We will try to add text on the paragraph tag. Let us try to open the modified codes on the web page we created a while ago. As you can see the characters and sentences I have made inside the paragraph tag is displaying on the web page. Content made on the notepad++ appears inside the web page. Now we will try HTML header tags. Tags such as h1, h2, h3, h4, h5 and h6. We will see their differences in terms of text sizes. We will try the text hello world with three exclamation points having six header tags. Modify and save the HTML codes and let us see the display directly from the web page. As you can see here, header tag h1 is the biggest while header tag h6 is the smallest. These tags are usually used for titles on contents provided on the paragraph tags. In terms of alignment, colors, and text sizes, I will discuss those further on my next videos. Next we will try the anchor tag, in which we can set direct links on this HTML tag. Let's try to link the anchor tag on W3Schools website. We'll input href equals then the URL of the website and name the link as this is a link to W3Schools. Let us try to save the modified codes and check the display. Let us open again the hello world.html. As we can see text with link inside is given. We will try to open if this link will redirect us to the website. This tag is usually used for redirection of another page or another website. Now we will try html image tag. In this tag we can insert any images with formats such as GIF, PNG, and JPG. We will input the code SRC equals on the image tag. We must get the exact location of the image from your computer that you want to add on the web page. 
as per this image which is located on my desktop. I will get the exact location by getting it to the properties tab. Location is on users, user, desktop. Do not forget the exact file name of the image. Also check the exact format of the image to see to it that the web page will directly get the location. Let us try to save the modified code and check on the web page if it will display and appear. As you can see the image I have on my desktop is displaying inside the web page. If your image does not appear on the web page, see to it that all parameters must be followed. Back it again. We will try HTML button tag. We will input the button tag codes and setting the button name as click me. We will try to save the modified code again and check if the button appears on the web page. As you can see here, the button named Click Me displays inside the web page. Let us try to modify the name of the button as click for more info and save IT again and check. Here the name of the button has changed but there is still no functionality on the button tag as IT needs more scripts to make it work. Lastly, we will try unordered and ordered list HTML tags. First, we will input the unordered tag. Inside the tags are li tag which means list tags. We will input three unlisted tags and check the display on the web page. Next, is we will try the ordered list tag. Same procedure and coding format from the unordered list tag. With the same three list and tag code must be all. difference between two HTML list tags. As for the unordered list it is like a list of items on bullet type, while on the other hand it is sequenced by numbers starting from 1 to 3.